Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to discuss a very sought after product that has been long overdue. I've been working on this design for quite some time. Uh, this is a NEMA 23 format, 600 ounce motor, single shafted with, uh, again, it's an eight millimeter shaft. Of course, we have the flat on the shaft. And then you can see in the back of the motor, we have an integrated braking system. And many of you out there uh, that have heavy Z-axis, I get messages like, hey, I don't know what's going on. My Z-axis drops every time I turn my system off or every time I do not have holding torque on my motors because the driver is not enabled. Well, guess what? This braking system engages when it does not receive 24 volts. So you would run a 24, a 24 volt, excuse me, power supply to the braking system and you would have it wired so that it would be with the power switch and also with your e-stop. You would run the ground going to your e-stop from your 24 volt power supply and then this way whenever you depress the e-stop or turn the power off, it would lock the shaft. Now this brake is magnetic in design. It attaches to the rear of the motor as you see here, so it's very, very clean. And the beauty of this is you still get the maximum torque at 600 ounce inches, which equivalates to 37 and a half inch pounds of torque. And on top of that, you get 300 ounces or 18.75 inch pounds of torque with the integrated brake to hold your Z axis in place. Now, most guys say, well, that would be the only application for this type of stepper motor. No, it's not. Let me paint you another picture. For many times you're in a busy environment in your shop and you're worried about hitting your axis and knocking it out of position. Well, once again, when the brake is engaged on your axis, you never have to worry about actually hitting or bumping and moving your axis unless it's done in a really excessive manner. The whole idea of this is you're going to lock your position in and you can see right now of course there's no power being applied to the brake which once again requires 24 volts therefore the shaft is locked once there is power applied to the brake at once again 24 volts the the actual shaft of the motor will spin that's how this braking system works so for my guys out there who message me and say Vin I just can't figure out how to keep my z-axis in place I hear all kinds of contraptions and gizmos and they still want a really high torque motor which again my uh, 600 ounce motors are equivalent to most NEMA 34's in the smaller format this solves your dilemma in one complete assembly very simple mounts directly in place again using the NEMA 23 mounts uh, big questions that always come up how do you get that much torque in this motor? Well, NEMA 24 and NEMA 23 standards are the same in terms of mounting. The difference is the length of the motor. So what you see here with the coil being so long allows me to increase the torque of the motor while staying with the same mounting dimensions of a NEMA 23 and henceforth you guys benefit from it because you don't have to upgrade to a NEMA 34 and now that you have an integrated braking solution this motor solves that big issue of oh man my z-axis keeps dropping is there something wrong with my transmission or you know I've got such a linear axis from my z-axis I just can't seem to hold place well this is it guys so again, I hope that the video has been helpful. I know that they every video always generates more questions. If you do have a question for this motor for your application, let me know. Once again, it still retains the same amperage requirement of three and a half amps. So this will work fine with a G540. Um, that's something that I know will come up and most systems will easily power this motor. So keep that in mind. I thank you all for your support. Take care.